Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert the following linear equations from the slope-intercept form to the standard form. This is the first equation we're going to work on, y equals minus 376 minus 2. You can see it's currently in the slope-intercept form, which is, this is the general form for the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. You'll see we have y equals minus 3 sevenths. Minus 3 sevenths is the slope. m stands for the slope. b is the y-intercept. We have minus 2 as our y-intercept. y equals mx plus b, the slope, and the y-intercept. This is the standard form. This is the general form of the standard form. ax plus by equals c. We want to convert this from the slope-intercept form to the standard form. In the standard form, a and b, the coefficients, must not be fractions. They cannot be fractions. And a, the coefficient a, should be a positive number. we got to make sure we take care of all those things. Now, you'll notice in the slope-intercept form, everything is on the right-hand side except for the y. Everything is on the right-hand side except for the y. In the standard form, everything is on the left-hand side except for this final integer. So we need to basically move the x term to the other side. The y is already on the left-hand side. we got to get the x term to the other side and clean it all up so we have no negatives and no fractions. Now, there's a couple ways you can start. I like to start like this. Step one. If the slope, now m in the slope-intercept form, m is the slope, the number in front of the x. Well, the number in front of the x is a fraction. So if the slope is a fraction, in this case the slope is minus 3 sevenths, multiply by the denominator. Basically, we want to get rid of the fraction. So we're going to multiply the whole equation by the denominator. The denominator is 7 multiplied by 7. I'm going to distribute 7 through these three terms, 1, 2, and 3. 7 times y is 7y. Bring the equal sign down. Minus 3 sevenths x times 7. The 7s cancel, and you're left with minus 3x. Minus 2 times 7 is minus 14. That is step 1. We multiply by the denominator. We got rid of the fraction, and therefore that's the end of step 1. Step 2. Now we're going to add opposite of the x term to both sides of the equation. The x term is minus 3x. Well, the opposite of minus 3x is 3x. I'm going to add 3x to both sides. Here's my equal sign, the left side, the right side. 7y plus 3x. It's not like 10xy or 21xy. We're adding. All right, these are not like terms. Like This is like apples and oranges. You can't add apples and oranges. We have y and x. So we put the x term first and then the y. So we're just going to write down 3x plus 7y. ax plus by. ax plus by. Bring the equal sign down. Now we have minus 3x and 3x. When we add minus 3x and 3x, we get 0. So people say they cancel. And then you just bring down the 14 or the minus 14. That is... The, that is that equation in the standard form. ax plus by equals c. No fractions. The a term, the coefficient a, is positive, and there we go. Next one. We're going to do the same two steps. Step one was if the slope, the number in front of the x, is the slope, mx. If the slope is a fraction, multiply by the denominator. So you can see 2 fifths is a fraction, the denominator is 5, multiply by 5. So I'm going to distribute the 5 through all three terms in this equation. 5 times y, 5y, equal sign. 2 fifths x times 5, the 5's cancel, you just get 2x. Minus 4 times 5 is minus 20. That's step 1 multiply by the denominator of the fraction if the slope is a fraction. Now the second step is to add the opposite of the x term to both sides. This is 2x. The opposite of 2x is minus 2x, so I'm going to write down minus 2x and minus 2x on both sides. Once again, y and x, those are unlike terms. Those are not like terms. And it's ax plus by, so I'm going to put down minus 2x plus 5y 
we have plus 2x and minus 2x, and we add those, they get 0, they cancel, and therefore you get minus 20. Now you can see we're almost there. We did say that in the standard form, the x term may not be negative. Here it's negative. We want to get rid of that negative sign, and the way we get rid of that negative sign is we multiply the whole equation by minus 1. In a sense, what we do when we multiply the whole thing by minus 1 is we just change the sign, because a minus times a minus is a positive, a positive times a minus is a minus, and a minus times a minus is a positive. So all we really do is change the sign for each term. We just get 2x plus minus 5 equals 20. All right? And you can actually leave this plus sign out. So it just be 2x minus 5y equals 20. That's how you do that one. Currently, it is now in the standard form. ax plus by equals 20. All right, the next one. Now, the first step was if the slope was a fraction, multiply by the denominator. Well, in this case, the slope is not a fraction, it's a whole number. So we're just gonna not do that step. We're gonna skip step one altogether and go on to step two. Step two was simply to add the opposite of the x term. This is 6x, the opposite of 6x is minus 6x. I'm gonna add minus 6x to both sides. Once again, we have minus 6x, we have x and a y on like terms, minus 6 plus y. We have plus 6 and minus 6, we add those up, bring a negative side down, those cancel, and you get minus y. Now, once again, we have minus 6, we gotta get rid of that minus sign. So we're gonna multiply the whole thing by minus 1. We get 6x, change the signs, basically six, negative, positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, and that is that equation, 6x minus y equals 5. For the y term, the coefficient b is really minus 1, but we don't write the minus 1 in. The next one, and the last one. Okay, y equals mx plus b, y equals mx plus b. Once again, the slope is not a fraction, so we're just going to skip step one. We're just going to go to step two, which is to add the opposite of the x term. The x term is minus 11x, add 11x to both sides. 11x plus y, or y plus 11x is simply 11x plus y. Then we have minus 11x plus 11x is zero, so those cancel, and you're left with minus 10. And that is all done, right? We got ax plus by equals c. The a term is positive, we have no fractions. The b term, once again, is one. c is minus 10, and there you go. Okay, so I think you can do those pretty easily. Follow those two, two steps. Step one, if the slope is a fraction, divide by the denominator. Then, step two, add the opposite of the x term to both sides, and you will end up with the standard form ax plus by equals c. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, you can do one or all of the following three things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos. Give me a nice thumbs up for this video and leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.